Hey everyone, it's Blake here with the Manga Reloaded Podcast, and today I'm going to be doing a brief first impressions video on the update that Shonen Jump just made to their new app. You may have seen in a previous video where Matt and I were talking about speculations as to what this could be, what this could mean. Well, now that I've got my hands on it, it's out and released to the public. I'm going to talk a little bit about all of the good things that are in it, and there's a few shortcomings here and there, so... Uh, We'll just get into the video. One thing I got to say up front, as you can probably tell, Matt is not here for this video. He had to work, unfortunately, and we just really wanted to get this out as soon as possible. So I'm going to be soloing this video. As you can see, the main page for the app hasn't changed very much. It just has the standard weekly releases for Weekly Sewn and Jump, which is what it's always had. And an interesting thing that you can see right now is it actually has the first couple chapters of one piece available to read for free i don't know if that was there beforehand or not but that's something pretty cool so as jump mentioned one of the big changes that came from this update is the fact that regardless of whether you are a pay subscriber or not you get access to the last three chapters that were released in Weekly Shonen Jump for free to read as well as to download so that you can read it offline if you wanted to and then I started looking through some of the other standard features that come with it. Of course, there's a little downloads tab where you can see the different things that you've downloaded or purchased in the past because you can still purchase entire volumes of manga if you so choose to. And if you have made purchases in the past, there is still the option to get back everything that you have purchased. So as you can see under the membership details section, there is that option to pay the $1.99 per month to then unlock well we'll see what we unlock that's really the big reason we're doing this review right now so after upgrading my account and you do get the option to have one free week of the pay version of the shonen jump app before you actually have to commit to it uh, just the forewarning as is customary with the majority of these in app purchases it will automatically renew every single month unless you tell it not to. Another fun thing that I noticed about this is they launched it on the 17th, and at first I was thinking, well, that's a little weird. Why would you do it a week before Christmas? But then I'm like, um, duh, it's because they give you a week free. So then at the time you start paying for it, it then becomes your Christmas present. How did you know that the only thing I could possibly want for Christmas is more manga? Yay! So now that we're officially a member, we're going to take a look through the app and see just what comes with the membership upgrade. And so scrolling through, it looks like, well, I do have the entirety of One Piece to read if I so choose. So uh, that's a plus starting off. Let's see what other options we have. Well, I guess it makes sense to just go with the popular. Let's check My Hero Academia. And once again, it does look like I have the whole series up to this point available to read or download if I so choose. Well, that's pretty impressive. I guess it makes sense. I'll, we'll just do a, a quick scroll through the whole thing, see what all is here to be read. Okay, well, it looks like we have Assassination Classroom, Bakuman, that's one of Matt's favorites, Black, Cla Black Cat, that's one of my favorites, uh, Bleach, that's a good one, Blue Exorcist, Boruto, we'll probably do a Boruto episode coming up fairly recently, Claymore, D. Gray Man, that's a series I need to catch back up on, Death Note, popular one, let's see, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. Well, there is no shortage of Dragon Ball, fortunately. Food Wars, Haikyuu, Hikaru no Go. That's a really good one. Hunter Hunter, Will It Ever End? Who knows? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, 2, 3. Okay, so it looks like we only have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure up to Part 3. Uh, I think that's actually a very important distinction to make is that with this app one of one of the i guess tiny asterisks that they put on it is that we only have we uh, being those of us in the united states i assume most of the western world 
only receive access to manga that has been officially translated into the English language. So, for example, great one right here. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I believe, is up to part eight in Japan. But so far, we have only had it translated up to part three. So that's a very important distinction to make when you're looking through this. If you're like, oh, well, there, there's no Kachikome. There's, where's the rest of JoJo's? Those series haven't actually been officially translated. So therefore, they're just not going to be there. Now, is it going to be something that comes later on? I, I hope so, but, but we'll discuss that a little more at the end of the video. So, continuing to scroll through, see what else we have. Ooh, Manga and Theory and Practice. I've actually been wanting to buy that. Of course, My Hero Academia. Naruto, because couldn't have anything without Naruto. And more Naruto. Uh, One Piece. And One Punch Man. Promise Neverland. Siren. La di da di da. Uh, Kenshin. Ooh, the new Kenshin. Yeah, we'll have an interesting video coming up about that too. Just, just a slight heads up there. Tagami Bachi. That's a series I've wanted to get back into. Tokyo Ghoul. I need to finish that. Toriko. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like we're starting to get towards the bottom. <laughs> Weekly Shonen Jump. Yu Gi Oh. The best card game ever, obviously. Yu Yu Hakusho. And, of course, got to end it with Zombie Powder. Let me scroll back up to that weekly Shonen Jump. And there's nothing here. Okay, I I don't know if that's an error or... There's, there's just no weekly Shonen Jump to be read, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know if that's an error or not. Let's Let's check something else. Toriko... Takes a minute to load. All right, there we go. Okay, we got Toriko up. And it, it looks like it's just fine. Oh, this is a nifty little feature. What else do we got here? All right, we got sorted by volume. Ooh, I can select by volumes. See, that's something really considerate. I really appreciate that that's put there because I traditionally read it by volumes anyway. So... Let's let's click Tagami Bachi because that's another one that interests me. And then again, it takes a second to load. Okay, we still got that nice sorting structure there. Let's let's look at a volume. Let's see if it'll give me the chapters that are in a volume. Uh, let's pick Kenshin. Kenshin's a good one. I need to read Kenshin Restoration. All right, so going by volumes. Okay, so yeah, okay, I guess as far as the volumes go, you can only use the volume section for purchasing manga. So if you purchase an entire volume, then you can use that function, but it's it's not like, oh, you click on volume, then it'll show you all the chapters that are in that volume. I guess in a setting like this that isn't super important, that would have been a really nice touch for me, for people like me who actually prefer to read in the physical format where possible i mean I'm, I'm sure my physical reading will drop quite a bit now that this app is available and we have official translations that do actually go towards supporting the authors which is a big part of what i like about this but yeah it doesn't sort it by volume when you're looking for what chapter you're going to read Let's click some recommended just to get some more. Why did it just pull up one volume of Bleach? But why do we just have one volume? Let's let's scroll back. Let's <laughs> let's let's check and make sure Bleach itself is not broken. This is just this is just a weird one-off thing from transitioning because I did I did go through the recommended so. I don't know if that's just a bug in it or they just don't like bleach, so we're we we only get the last volume. Well, at least we get that. I mean, that's something. Well, it says all 74 volumes. And nope, it's all here. All the volumes are here. Huh. That was weird. So I guess when moving from through the recommended to a different one, it just automatically puts you at the last volume released, I guess. Also, another fun setting I found was this one, which allows you to put a limit on 
how much manga that you can store on your device, which, I mean, that can be pretty handy. You can go all the way down from 100 megabytes up to 32 gigabytes, it looks like, which, I mean, I guess it's possible to get it up to 32 gigabytes, but man, that's that's a lot of manga. But I guess you can only have 100 volumes downloaded per day. I'm curious to know if that stacks over. Is it like I can only download 100 volumes per day, but once I reach that 100 volumes, is it going to be like, oh, well, you can't download any more volumes at all until you remove some, or is it going to be like, okay, I can download 100 volumes today and then tomorrow i can download a hundred more until i have all ten thousand volumes downloaded on my device i i don't know that'll be something i probably won't ever actually test out but you know it's interesting to think about i guess so yeah in conclusion i'm incredibly impressed this basically delivered exactly what it said it was going to give us it gives us the entire English backlog of Shonen Jump manga for essentially free, $1.99 a month, and you can read whatever you want, whenever you want. You can download it. Again, you can download up to 100 volumes per... Or, pff, 100 volumes. You can download up to 100 chapters per day, which is still a large amount of chapters. It's still quite impressive. Um, some possible, uh, possible issues that I could see coming up in the future. I don't know how much of a delay there's going to be, um, for newly translated series is obviously they said that things that are released in Japanese or at least in Japanese weekly Shonen Jump are also going to be released simultaneously on the app to English audiences. So that's great. We won't have that weird time lapse for translation anymore. But my question is, for series is like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, they just recently licensed Part 4 to be translated into English. Is that going to automatically transition onto the app? Is it going to release side-by-side side with the physical manga volume release? Or is, is there going to be a delay there? Or are they going to wait until they have the entire series printed out, then put it on the app? I don't know. Just something to think about. Obviously, in the future, I could definitely see if this takes off as well as I hope it does, and I'm sure Jump really hopes it does. I could definitely see price hikes coming up in the future. I know currently for this, they're dropping what was the weekly Shonen Jump price of $2.99 a month. They dropped it down to $1.99 for this, but obviously, this is giving you a lot more bang for your buck. And they reduced the price for the buck. So I can definitely see the price going up. And honestly speaking, I would pay a bit more than this. I, I can't tell you what my maximum limit would be. I mean, I wouldn't pay like Netflix subscription for this just because it's just translated manga. But I would definitely pay at least up to five bucks a month on this. Maybe more. It, it all depends. It also depends on what other changes come down the road are we going to start seeing more series as translated into english due to the convenience of this electronic medium not having to worry or not having to focus as much on printing it but then also the question is going to be are there going to be less printings of manga and are physical volumes going to start increasing in price which again would make sense because you have this digital medium to go through and heck for all we know, Jump might try getting away from the physical medium and just focusing more on the electronic because it's it's easier, it's cheaper, they don't have to worry about paying to print and bind things. So who knows? This this might be the future of manga and we might start to see other companies jumping on this wagon and moving their stuff to digital, which as someone who really really prefers to read in a physical format and i know matt will jump on the same wagon with me i have very mixed feelings about the thought of it moving away from the physical to the digital but i think that's a that's an entirely another discussion for a different video other than that i obviously had a tiny issue with the fact that 
when they have the volume section on there, that's just their way of still trying to sell you the manga volumes. Obviously, it's cheaper than if you were to buy it in a physical format. It was around $7 versus the 10 to 12 that you pay normally for a physical volume, so about half the price. I feel like that might cause a little bit of issues. You might be able to trick people to accidentally purchase things. I don't know. Mistakenly clicking things isn't really a good excuse, but, you know, it can happen. Um, but other than that, I I think it's great. The app, I, so far, I, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. And again, obviously, this is still my first impression. I haven't sit sat here and had a chance to use it for a week, a month, really push it to the limit, see how it goes, that I can tell it's just as good as any other manga reading app I've had, if not better. And again, it's officially translated, and there's no... I keep trying to say there's no limit on downloads. You get 100 downloads per day, per day, and I even saw that in the settings it has a little timer, and it tells you how much longer until your 100 downloads reset, so you can download a 100 more which I think is great. So they, they really tried to put a lot into this. There was a lot of thought put into this. And I hope this is really signaling an upturn for Jump and manga in general. I'd love to see this be a medium that becomes more popular in the general public. Because again, when you think of Japanese art, things like this, you People tend to think of anime. A lot of people, even people who do watch anime, don't really even know what manga is. I love it. I I plan to use it a lot. More, a lot, And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes in the future. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you liked my little review of the Shonen Jump app, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Again, we try to put out weekly content regarding manga anime news and in the future we'll probably be hitting some other nerdy topics so yeah thanks for listening everybody and uh as sean would say <sighs> <sighs>